Magister Merlin? Magister Merlin! Are you all right? Magister Merlin, you don't look well. Did you have a nightmare? Ah, your old problem has reared its head again. I'm Dolly. We've been living together in the mystical house for a while now. I hope you remember that you're the great mage who has inherited the title of Merlin. However, you lost most of your powers somehow. Your memories are fragmented, and you often forget things. I woke you up because there's a fire on the other side of the river. It's getting serious. All the villagers will be in danger if we don't put out that fire. Chippy was worried and ran over there already. As you're familiar, Chippy wanted to protect your beloved village, so he rushed out to put out the fire. But the fire is getting out of hand. Will Chippy be all right? Do you want to go and see for yourself, Magister Merlin? I understand. Just take care of yourself. You've been in seclusion all these years. No one knows you're here. If you just go out like this, it might stir up some trouble. You know, you're probably the most famous mage in Asperia. Before going out, why don't you use some magic and change your appearance? The water isn't working! You sat! Get these fires under control! Do not retreat! I wouldn't have recognized you if it weren't for Chippy tagging along. How about you dispel your disguise so I can see my old friend again? Oh, I really hope this is the last time I hear this question from you. But no matter how many times you lose your memory, I'm happy to reintroduce myself again to you. I am Hogan. 
the former leader of the heroic order of the Lightbearer Empire, and the current magistrate of Hollistone. We've been friends for decades, and our friendship will never fade, no matter how muddled your memory gets. But this is no time for small talk. Look at these fire elementals. They don't belong in Ryan. How could they just appear out of nowhere? Hmm. Seems my instincts were right. This fire was no accident. Please, give me a hand. Let's put these fires out together. General, they've ruined my beauty sleep. This will cost you extra. Valen, you're just getting here now? Were you deep in your cups again? That's not fair. I ran into a bunch of fire elementals on the way here. Those guys were really annoying. Anyway, looks pretty grim here. I didn't expect the fire to be this big. This is not normal, General. That's right! We think it's arson. The culprit is likely a mage. Whoa! A talking hamster? You're a familiar, aren't you? In that case, this gentleman with the general must be a mage. I gotta say, picking a hamster as your familiar is rather... unique. I'd normally overlook your band of Valen, but in front of this magister, you'd better watch your words. It's rare to command such respect from the General. Well, Magister, I am Valen, of the Heroic Order. How would you like me to address you? Hmm, an interesting name. I will remember it. Forgive my rudeness earlier. I'll be sure to make it up to you once this fire has been dealt with. more interested in who started the fire than in putting it out. I saw you casting a spell with my own eyes. 
It's not that easy to quench a greedy fire, my dear. I'm just trying to help. The Scarlet Sorceress is as beautiful as her fire is dangerous. That's what the rumors say. Dangerous? You're quite right. If this were my fire, you'd all be ashes by now. <laughs> so she's the Scarlet Sorceress. Chippy has heard of her. You're... Hmm? Magister, if Chippy is not mistaken, it seems like the Scarlet Sorceress is staring at you. What do we do, Magister? She's staring really hard. Never mind. You made me think of someone. The divination was right. This night was awful. I shouldn't have gone out. I'd appreciate not being disturbed any further. I'm leaving. You're not going anywhere, Scarlet Sorceress. All my wares are gone. I demand compensation. Don't push your luck, young man. I'm not known for my patience. Don't you dare try to get away with this. I'll make sure you're held responsible. Shh. Quiet. Something's not right. The wind. It's suddenly so loud. You awake? How are you feeling? If I hadn't seen you pass out just now, I'd probably believe you. You passed out for a while. General Hogan and his men put out the fire. Then he returned to Hollistone. He ordered me to stay here and look after you. Before he left, the General told me to make sure that when you woke up, your memory was alright. What a strange request. Do you often forget things? Also, how much do you remember of what just happened? The Scarlet Sorceress, Muriel. You're a Magister, so perhaps you've heard of her. She was identified as the culprit by young Master Rowan. That kid with the huge bag and the duck on his head? He's Rowan, the second son of the wealthiest man in the Empire, and head of the Mithril Consortium. General Hogan took the two of them back to Hollistone for questioning. Muriel's attitude towards you was unusual. When you passed out, she was the first to get to you. Did you know her from before? 
That's rather odd. Magister? Yes, you're awake! Chippy checked all around and didn't see any elemental beings. The village is safe now. Mr. Valen told you that General Hogan already left for Hollistone, right? The General will wait for us in the village, so we should go meet him in Hollistone. He seemed to have something to say to you. There might be enemies on the road. I'll go with you. Although, you might not need my protection. Of course! The Magister is the mer... <coughs> the merriest mage that everyone loves. Anyway, since you're feeling better, Magister, should we set off? However, before leaving for Hollistone, we should probably return to the mystical house first. Dolly must be worried sick. Need a hand, friend? You're back. I was worried. casting that spell, and the Magister looked really strange, as if possessed by some weird force. Nonsense! Even the goddess Dura can't control Merlin! Perhaps it's just the Magister recovering. Chippy, what's with you? Why so pessimistic? That's not like you. Ah, oh, you're right. The Magister is the greatest mage in all of Asperia. Everything will be fine. That's what I like to hear. Magister Merlin, you seem to be in quite a bit of trouble. Shall we find someone to lend you a helping hand? Leave it to me. I know a few people. Thank you. 